Hey guys, some of you might have seen a video we made recently. We were flying over the ocean and we flew in over this old port. It's actually hundreds of years old. So we thought you might be interested in having a look down on the ground. These old warehouses have been operated by a company here for over 200 years. So they started with vinegar, selling vinegar, and then moved on to other condiments. And obviously they used to store them in these warehouses and then sailing boats would come into the port and then up these little rivers and load up from these warehouses. And then take all the vinegar and other stuff to other cities around Japan, so Osaka and around the south of Japan and then up the other side and deliver it to all around the country, up to Edo, up to Tokyo. So these have been pretty well maintained, obviously because they're warehouses, that helps with their motivation to maintain them because they want to protect what's inside them. And then recently they've had a bit of a, a refurbishment as well. So I just wanted to show you a bit of the detail because they're just beautiful old buildings, really classic, classic of their type. Tiny little street too. We actually did drive down the street. It actually is wide enough for a car, for one car. But of course it was originally designed for carts, wasn't it? Would have been no cars when these factories were first built. This is an interesting one. This one's actually got people living in it. Old gentleman was living in there. It's a classic, isn't it? Obviously a very old lock. A very old rusty lock. Makes you wonder if they could still get it open. But anyway. <laughs> we actually did mention this once before in another old building video. Just wanted to show you this though. See, there's a little hook that hooks over that little piece of wood there. These are designed so that if there's a fire, the firefighters can smack down on that little piece of wood and obviously if they hit down on that piece of wood there it'll unhook that little hook and the hooks are what's holding the wall up to the posts that support it inside so the firefighters can smack down all those little pieces of wood and then the whole wall will come off so obviously when you've got a lot of wooden buildings all close together fire is a real issue so one way they used to fight the fires is they could smack down those little pieces of wood, the wall would fall down and they could go inside, gain access to the inside. The other thing is, of course, if you remove the walls, you're removing the fuel. So if you take the walls away, take that wood away, then it makes the fire, uh, doesn't feed the fire on that side of the building, which sort of creates a bit of a fire break to the, bu the buildings next door. So interesting, isn't it? So it's obviously a very old firefighting technique, and they maintain them. They keep the little bits of wood there with the little hooks, so theoretically the firefighters could still do it if they wanted to. Smack those pieces of wood down, the whole wall would come out, and then they'd go. Isn't it cool? Living history, isn't it? So interestingly, there's the old warehouses, and here is the corporate headquarters of the same company. So it's still there, 210 years it's been operating in the same place. Isn't that incredible? And they still do the same thing, vinegar and condiments. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Anyway, hopefully someone found that a little bit interesting. More videos coming soon.